Hi beautiful people, this is part 3 of the story of Esther and we are going to start from Esther chapter 7 previously we left off from when the wife and friend of Haman told him that because Mordecai um, was serving the living God there was no way he was going to defeat him so as he sat there two eunuchs from the palace came to accompany him to the palace in order to have the second banquet that Esther requested for he and the king at the banquet the king insisted to know what Esther's problem was and Esther told him how there is a certain man who is trying to destroy people and wants to kill them and all of that so she narrated everything to him and the king was very furious that ah who can dare do such a thing and that is when she said it was Haman and Haman saw that he was in trouble when he sat with the king and the queen and he now knew that it wasn't an honor to be sitting over there at that time and because the king was so furious he went out into the garden and immediately Haman fell on the chair put himself on the chair where Esther the couch where Esther was in order to beg for his life and the king entered at that moment and saw him by his queen and he said hey do you want to rape my wife here in my own palace ha when Haman heard that he just gave up he knew that there is nothing he can do now to for the king to spare his life hmm. and look at what happened the eunuchs who told the king of the Bugatan, the eunuchs told the king he went to do concert with the king whatever you do people are watching so when he was building that uh, what's the name that uh, tall gallops in order to hang Mordecai on his people saw it and they just kept quiet looking so this Bugatan did concert um, to the king and told him that this Heyman man he has even built a gallops in order to hang Mordecai eh? who warned your majesty about a plot hmm? and it is 22 meters high hmm. and what did the king say hang Haman on it the king commanded so Haman was hanged on the gallows that he built for Mordecai then the king's anger did what cool down you see how God works God turned everything around so we always have to have confidence in God even though the situation looks muddy have confidence in him he got your back now looking at chapter 8 chapter 8 they said what well, that same day the king gave Esther all the property of Haman remember the property that he was bragging about to his friends and his wife all that property was given to Esther Eh? and look at how the bible calls him Haman the enemy of the Jews Esther told the king that she was what related to Mordecai some of us would have said hey what could do a uh, uh, palace name you have to let the king know that I'm your grandfather I am your whatever yes but they took time time in order to do certain things and this is when it was appropriate for Esther to tell the king that she's related to Mordecai and everything fell in place and Mordecai was what was honored and what did Esther do? Esther now transferred all that property to Mordecai to handle and put him in charge of it this is somebody who did not even like to see Mordecai in the palace now all his property is being transferred to him now esther went back to the king threw herself at his feet that 
humility. She could have said she's a queen, she's whatever, just the way and the first queen did. But no, Esther was very humble, threw herself at the king and begged him to change the evil plots that um, she, um, Haman had done. And what did the king say? Esther, the king said, I have hanged Haman for you. I have given you all his property. If it is not enough, whatever you like, do it. Write the letters and write whatever you want. So they had basically given Esther a blank check to do whatever she wishes. Hmm. What favor can do? And that is how Esther wrote the letters through the secretaries and it was sent to the 127 provinces from India to Sudan. And the letter now explained everything that happened and it gave the Jews the liberty by law to defend themselves and to be able to live by their own laws and to kill their enemies in any way that pleases them. In all this story, it showed how God turned everything. And the funny part is that these letters which gave the Jews power were posted clearly. They were pasted clearly for everybody to see, you see. And throughout that month that Mordecai had thrown um, dice in order to um, choose the particular day, that is that particular day that the Lord rescued them and turned everything around for their favor. Someone could have just lost hope, committed suicide ahead of time and said, ah, this letter that Haman wrote, by all means, to come to pass. Let me even kill myself now because uh, there's nothing. No. So in our lives today, don't give up. Don't give up. Push to the very last end. Push to the very last end and trust in God because God is known to make a way where there seems to be no way. To trust in God, we should continue to pray because that was what Esther did. Esther prayed. Esther fasted, Esther praised God, Esther remembered the good things that the Lord had done in the past. So remember things that the Lord had, has done for you in the past. Tell your children about it. Let them know that you serve a living God with evidence so that based on that, they can pray when they find themselves in difficult situations. Because it's based on the past that Esther was able to know that yes, truly God can do things. God can change things. And that is how God as the, those enemies for so the Kaya was not put to shame and they, they came out victorious in Anna. May the Lord continue to strengthen our faith. May the Lord continue to build us and help us in our walk with him. Thank you so much for listening, for watching and for always coming back to the channel. God bless you. God keep you. The next time you see me again, we are going to be looking at another story. That should be the story of Judith. Judith is another very powerful woman in the Bible. I don't know if it's, they are in the other Bibles, but I'm using the Catholic Bible. So you can research on it, Judith, from the internet. I'm sure you'll find you find it there or get a catholic bible and then look for the story of judith it's so fascinating so see you and bye until next